tonight? Hong Kong Fui. Kind of Good tight morning. Tight. This is Dr. Russell uh, Kuhn. I think it's pronounced Kuhn. I am the doctor here at Evergreen Wellness in Ojai. And what I'd like to talk to you today is about omega-3 fatty acids, which lots of people are talking about and wondering about. Why do they need omega-3s? So, uh, you have uh, omegas. And there are threes and sixes and nines, but for today we're going to talk about threes and we're going to talk about sixes. Now, um, there's a ratio that you're supposed to have between threes and sixes. Now, threes come from like blades of grass. Um, so that's like what cows want to eat, right? Cows they want to eat grass. So their heads are down. Uh, sixes come from... Uh, seeds, like grains, like corn, right? Now, uh, omegas should be in a ratio of approximately 1 to 1 to 2. That's what the ratio is supposed to be. So historically, in natural diets forever, humans would consume a ratio of omega-3s to 6s of about 1 to 1 to 2. Now, what has happened? So, for people who eat meat or cows, uh, which way does a cow's head point? The, the cow's head points down because it wants to eat grass, kind of like a buffalo, it, it roams around and, and stuff. So, um, and if you think of a feedlot, what color is the ground of the feedlot? Is it green with grass? No, it's not green with grass, so it's brown because all the grass has been eaten. So what do they feed to cows that are in a feedlot? They feed them corn. So we hear about corn-fed beef. Now, if you think about it, a cow never stood on his hind legs to eat the corn because the corn is up on the stalk, right? So we're feeding cows something that it was never designed to eat, which is grain. So corn, high fructose corn syrup, by the way, is in everything, right? So the meat that we're eating is filled with corn, so it throws the ratio off. So instead of the ratio being one to one, the ratio has become 1 to over 20. So the ratio, instead of it being like this nice even between 3's and 6's, now 6's are so high and 1's are so low. 3's uh, rather are so low. So the ratio is thrown off. Because high fructose corn syrup is in everything in a bag, a box, or a can. Okay, We see it everywhere. So we're eating all this corn syrup and it's making everybody big and fat, and that's not good. So we gotta, so sixes, by the way, are not evil. We just want to have them in the right ratio. And ratios are similar to, like, if you have, like, a chainsaw or a lawnmower, uh, you're supposed to have a ratio of gasoline to oil. And the mix is, like, one to three, and if you have the right mix, then the lawnmower runs correctly. But if the ratio is off, then how does the lawnmower run? It runs rough, or it doesn't run at all. So what is made of these fats, right? Omega, omega fatty acids. So what is made of fats is the nerves in your body. Can you give me the little models, the phone with the number? So nerves are, um, they're made of fat. And f they're made of fat because fat is an insulator. So um, we have a nerve which has dendrites, and a cell body, and then it has these, this fat, and then it go, that makes up the axon, and then it goes to what's called the terminal bouton, which is very fancy, and then there's a space to the next nerve where there's more dendrites and a cell body, and on. So this is what a nerve looks like. And this is fat. And if you guys ever saw The Matrix, remember in The Matrix how they said that the human, they were using humans for power because humans make electricity, right? So we're an electrical chemical thing. That's what we are. And uh, so like a battery, a battery works by separating charges, right? So if we have a battery, right, and we have positive and negative poles, positive and negative, and then we hook up an iPod or something to it, 
So the electricity goes through and then down, and then that turns makes the music that you want to listen to. Oh, sorry. There we go. You hear your music, right? So we have to separate charge for a battery to work, and when we want a battery to play something, then we have to connect the charges and then the electrons roll through. So here, we're trying to separate the outside from the inside of the nerve. And we do that through fat. So here's a vertebrae and a disc. And the yellow, if you can see the yellow, is the nerve. And the nerve is wrapped in fat to separate the charges from the outside and the inside. So the structure of the fat is built based on the ratio that you have between threes and sixes. So if you have the right ratio, the architecture of the nerve is correct, and then your brain, what's your brain made of? It's trillions of nerves, more than you can count, more than I can count. So all of these nerves have to have the right architecture, and they have the right architecture by having the right ratio. So if they have the right ratio, they function as a nerve. Call from Andre, come. Hold on, we'll So they function as a nerve correctly if it has the right architecture and the right ratio. If it doesn't have the architecture and the ratio, then what happens? This doesn't function the way that it's supposed to because the electrical si signals don't jump. So you would have a stimulus, and then it fires and goes down the electricity and then releases little neurotransmitters, and then it creates another signal that goes down. That's how, when my brain says, I want to contract my arm, my brain says sends a signal to the bicep, and then I contract my arm. But if the brain has the wrong ratio, then it doesn't fire correctly. And when your brain doesn't fire correctly, we call that attention deficit disorder. And we call that um, depression. And we call that uh, bipolar disorder. So if you remember the lawnmower doesn't run correctly if the gas-oil mixture isn't right. If this ratio is incorrect of your threes to your sixes, then this thing doesn't work correctly. So, what's the answer? The answer to correct this situation is we want to eat less sixes, so we want to have less high fructose corn syrup, and we want to supplement with more threes. And when we do both, instead of the ratio being really high in sixes and low in threes, now all of a sudden we're taking threes as a supplement, and we're reducing our sixes because we're reducing our intake of high fructose corn syrup. She's in the back. Sorry. Um, and when we do that, we balance out our ratio, and then the fat is built uh, structurally correctly so that the electrons can flow down the nerve correctly, which means my brain begins to work better and function, and then I have less depression, less attention deficit disorder, and my brain starts functioning correctly. Also, by the way, threes are natural anti inflammatory, which means sixes cause inflammation if they're too high. So as far as pain goes, if you want to reduce your pain, which is caused from inflammation, if you have a ton of sixes, you're eating all that junk that's in those bags, Cheetos and all that stuff, um, all of that stuff is filled with high fructose corn syrup, which means you're loading your body with sixes, not enough threes, which makes you inflame easier especially if you're misaligned in your spine. So this has been a brief description of how omega-3s play a vital important role in your health, and you should be taking them on a daily basis. Um, there's lots of different sources of them. As far as omega-3s go, the most important thing, expensive thing about omega-3s is the filtration process, because it's a fish oil. Lots of the fish, unfortunately, we like to pour lots of mercury uh, runoff from agriculture and stuff, goes into the rivers, which goes into the oceans, which gets into the fish. So lots of fish have mercury in it. So the expensive part of fish oil is the filtration process, getting the mercury out. So they have to um, filter it down to the molecular level in order to keep the fish oil safe. So we want to increase our threes, our omega-3 fish oil, but we don't want to start, we don't want to take the cheap stuff because the cheap stuff will then poison us with all kinds of toxicity inside. So we want to get a good quality um, omega-3. And I'll actually, if you come with me, I'll show you what we like. It is Nordic Naturals.
Um, and they have an orange flavor and a lemon flavor, so that you don't have to worry about the fishy stuff. But this is wonderful, and you can just use it a um, tablespoon a day and keep the inflammation away. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us, and uh, we look forward to getting you healthy. Bye.